The US president has defied the Pentagon. Going against the advice of his military, Donald Trump has intervened in the cases of war crimes. He's pardoned two soldiers and restored the rank of a Navy SEAL to another. Clint Lawrence was serving a 19-year prison sentence for ordering his soldiers to fire on three unarmed Afghan men in 2012. Two of them were killed. Matthew Goldstein was charged with the murder of an unarmed Afghan man that he believed was a bomb maker. His trial was scheduled for next year. And Trump reversed the demotion of Edward Gallagher, who was acquitted of murder, but convicted for posing with the severed head of a Daesh terrorist in Iraq. Trump's pardon of the men has caused tensions between the Department of Defense and the White House. The Pentagon has warned the amnesty could make it more difficult for them to hold personnel accountable. Military advisors also say the decision would erode the trust of US allies hosting American troops. Among them is this man, the now former Secretary of the Navy, Richard Spencer. He was forced to resign on Sunday after trying to prevent Gallagher from being pardoned. Writing in his resignation letter, Spencer wrote, the rule of law is what sets us apart from our adversaries. This isn't the first controversial amnesty approved by Trump. In May, the president gave clemency to the soldier Michael Behenna, who was convicted of murdering an Iraqi prisoner. He also pardoned Lewis Scooter Libby, an advisor in the George W. Bush administration during the Iraq war. He was convicted of perjury and obstruction of justice in 2007. So what impact will this amnesty have on the US military and the rules of engagement? And has the US president undermined the rule of law? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.